Alrighty, hello every folks and good morning! Welcome to the most pointless tier list we've ever done. We are raiding all of the facial hair in Tactics Ogre. Is there any point to this? God no. Let's go ahead and get into this whole thing because frankly, it's information that everyone needs to know. Alright, first and foremost, Denim. Most disappointing beard in the game. Now, how do we know that he has a beard? Because they mentioned in the Chapter 4 intro uh, that uh, the dude's scarce old enough to shave. So, presumably, they are shaving. Presumably, their beard is just shitty. Let's go ahead and move on. Uh, next up, uh, Basic Warrior. I would say similarly down in D tier. That is barely a beard. That is a 5 o'clock shadow. Unbelievably disappointing. What are you doing? Same thing with Vogris over here. You called out a beard... No, by definition, it's not. What are you doing? Get out of here. All right, next up, uh, this guy does not have a beard, but simply put, that is one majestic as hell mustache. Volak, you get to go up there in A tier. Uh, next up, for disappointing beards, we have Nybeth. Your beard fell off. What are you doing? Uh, next, uh, for A, uh, actually, I don't even know what you'd call this. For B, for, like, friggin' beyond confusing, uh, we're gonna have Gamp's beard. Now, that is hardly a beard, that is a stick of dynamite, uh, covered in some kind of follicles. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. This dude's got some kind of Robotnik situation going on. If he were to somehow tame that thing, we'd have something there. Uh, but as it stands, I'm pretty sure that, uh, people regularly get lost in that weird forest attached to his face. Alright, next, for a solid A, reliable, dependent beard over here. We have random generic undead villager. Uh, obviously very well uh, kept up. Dude looks like he's got some pr some pretty uh, decent wisdom uh, beyond the, that face there. Unfortunately, he's a little bit dead. He can't share much of that wisdom, but you know what? At least he tried. However, his living version, we can clearly see that he's taking care of a lot of those greys. We can clearly see that this dude has, uh, you know, he's been keeping himself up. Uh, so we'll go ahead and put him over there. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that actually might be Vice's dad. Kind of an asshole. Fits in the A tier. All right, moving on. Uh, next, for Majestic Beard, uh, we've got uh, Zapan. He's actually going to go up here, uh, right above uh, right above Gamp. Uh, basically, he's got the same sort of situation going on. He's not really taking care of it for the most part, but at least it fits into his general aesthetic a decent bit better. It doesn't look like, you know, it doesn't look like anyone's going to be filing any missing, missing persons reports if he were to be walking by one day. All right. Uh, next up, for absolutely S-tier beards, uh, we have got to put uh, Rockham and Azelstan up there. Now, why exactly do we need both of them at the same time? Uh, we don't. I forgot to put Azelstan's picture up here. Rakam's basically just the cooler-looking Azelstan anyway. Uh, so he gets to go up there. Standard classic uh, pirate, uh, just suave-as-hell beard situation going on. Honestly, it doesn't get too much better than that, though I have to say classic uh, Roderick before he went all crazy majestic as hell. Uh, so definitely gets to go up here. Um, all right. B tier. Griffins. Is that a beard? I don't know. It might be a beard. It could not be a beard. Honestly, I couldn't tell one way or the other. It kind of, sort of, is something on their chin. They technically have a lot on their chin. Their whole body's on their chin. It looks majestic. I don't know. It's elegant. Uh, I guess you could say understated. I don't know. Is it more majestic or elegant? It's hard to say. Anyway, whatever. Awesome as hell, though, they at least get a B tier, because I'm confused on where the hell to put them. Uh, next, for Disappointing Beards, uh, we have uh, uh, Damaged Lands over here. That is a 5 o'clock shadow, that is not a real beard, you don't get to enter this contest, sir. Uh, Alright, next for C tier. Barely out of the 5 o'clock shadow range over here, we've got Classic Nybeth before his jaw fell off. Uh, he's not even trying. He just kind of has some crap glue to his face. Uh, next, for uh, for S tier, uh, we are gonna put uh, Gilbald. Dude's got rocking the classic Barry Burton look. Wonderful. Um, all right, next uh, A tier standard berserker, basically doing the same thing as Zapan, though not quite as crazy. He hasn't quite gotten it as poofed out there, um, but still, it's working. It's the, the general vibe is there. It's it's happening. Um, absolute S tier. Uh, we've got uh, Maruvra, who is currently actually no, he's going to be right under Roderick here. I feel like he probably modeled his after Roderick and then got super old. But Roderick, he kept his old picture there in the profile, so he gets to go there. Um, all right. Next for, uh, for, I would say, probably B tier over here, uh, we've got, uh, Demon Dorgi. Now, why is he in, in, uh, in B tier over here? Well, sure, he's got a beard, but he's been locked away in a dungeon for presumably over a dozen years at this point. I forget what the exact number is, but that beard is probably rank as shit. So, no, that thing probably reeks. Uh, so, no. Lots of beard, lots of stank. It gets to go over there. Majestic beard at a distance, right? Solidly in the middle. We got kind of a bit of both going on there. Um, all right. Uh, next up, uh, we got uh, uh, Roddy after the trans or uh, is he Rowdy Roddy? Yeah, that Rowdy Roddy after the transformation. Uh, still has the beard. 
kind of accentuating it with some fangs over there. Again, probably pretty bad smelling. We're going to keep that at a distance. Um, next up for, I would say, probably an A-tier beard would probably uh, be uh, be Ron Way. Now, solid beard attached to a, t to a stupid face, but again, solid beard. I, generally seems to do a good job of keeping the thing up. Got uh, got all the curves and stuff going there. Um, but uh, I would say probably uh, probably put him above Zapan, though. Honestly, Volak is still winning with that weird mustache. Um, honestly, it's one, like those mustaches are one of those things where it's like it's not exactly cool, but I respect the uh, the kind of effort to put those edges in there, you know? Alright, next for 5 o'clock shadow, once again, uh, uh, we've got uh, Yunin over there. What are you doing? Like, just just shave it or don't. Pick one. Pick a lane, man. Uh, same thing for uh, uh, for uh, generic female knight, Apollinaire in this case. Now, I can't be the only one that's uh, that's seen that uh, that uh, knight, uh, kind of generic knight profile picture this entire time, and thought they look like they've got some stubble or something going on, right? I know that's probably just some lines for, like, shadows or whatever else, but dude, it, it totally looks like they've got stubble. Now, uh, let's, uh, let's move on here. Uh, for B tier, I'm gonna have to put uh, Hobrim down here. It's not that he doesn't have one, it's not that it doesn't have some edges, but like, dude's on camp to sell. Organize it a little bit, you know? Uh, S tier, uh, we've got Dagon uh, representing the generic wizards over here. Solid, wisdom inspiring beard over there. Uh, this dude seems like he's gonna know some stuff, so not quite rocking the Barry Burton uh, like, uh, uh, like Gilbald over here, but he gets to go up there all the same. Five o'clock shadow tier, uh, once again for you. In fact, that is so un just like unapolog unapologetically shitty that it's not even funny. Like it, it just feels like he's not trying. Um, also, next up for S tier, uh, we have uh, we have the champion. We have Mr. I swear I'm not Commander Riker himself over here, uh, rocking an absolutely uh, classic. Uh, just absolute authority exuding look over here. Not quite up there with Roderick, but damn, it's close. Uh, so he gets to go up there. Uh, and, and additionally, uh, for, uh, I, I would say probably the bottom end of S tier, maybe top of A tier here. Uh, you know, actually, let's probably move these two down to C tier for just crappy smell. Um, but for top of A tier, I feel like whatever the hell Modigliani's got going on over here, it feels like he's put in work. He's still got that age and probably stinks real bad thing going on, but you can tell that they're taking the time to fashion their weirdness into something cool as hell. Uh, hell, there might be something magical involved, but who knows? And then, obviously, the uh, the craziest beard in the game, for once, uh, Warren's going to be winning one of these uh, tier lists, because that thing is basically the, just the improved kind of classic, uh, classic Kung Fu Master stash on top of the thing that Roddy's already got over here. Just absolutely top of the pile. How do you even question that? That is wisdom incarnate. Now, I'd be willing to, for example, uh, move, uh, uh, move you over here uh, above Roddy, but... <sighs> It's questionable. This guy's winning the sharpness contest for sure. This guy's winning the, uh, just how do you even describe this? Just sheer power aura situation. While Warren's got the wisdom on lock, you know? Um, so either way, that's my thoughts on this whole thing. Where do you think all these guys should land? Um, and should I have included more griffins? I don't know. Anyways, y'all have yourselves a good one and take care. Later.